Hello, I'm going to do my first video for the year. If you'd like to come and join me. So first of all, we've got the trial set. So these are a, an antique trial set. The original lenses are these. And if I just get two lenses together, you can hear that they are glass lenses. This is a small aperture lens. And although they're glass lenses as well, a much smaller lens shape. So this row are all minus prescription and the same with this row. Then we've got the plus lenses along here. And we have cross sills, the cylinder lenses across here. So these are your minus cells and those are your plus cells. And we've just got a couple more in the higher end. We, we do have a few missing off this range, but then this range is probably about 70 years old. The trial frame that I use in this set is an antique as well. This is from the 1940s or maybe even earlier. So how this one works, the sides are a wraparound design and if I put it on you'll see that it doesn't actually drop down behind my ears, it just wraps against the head. It's a metal, it's a metal pad on the bridge and that's adjustable so we can take it so it actually pulls it further away. So that pulls the trial frame away from the head. We can also adjust the height, although I've, I have actually got the button missing off there. And we can also adjust the width. So I'm bringing that in now so that the frame is much closer to the bridge. That then gives us a reading of 48 PD, pupil distance measurement. And as I pull it up I now, that's pulled it in further, so in fact, yep, 48 is the smallest it goes. And it does actually go up to a, six, a 70 PD. So this can fit anyone up to a 70 millimetre pupil distance. So here I have two cross sills. Definitely glass lenses. Now 
and I'm not sure if you can see the markings on here, but you'll notice there's some little lines going across. And that is to mark out 180 degrees and 90 degrees. Now I do have some spectacle lenses in here. This is a plastic lens and you'll hear the difference compared to hitting the glass lens. And this gadget here is a lens curve measure. You'll notice it's varying groove sizes around the outside edge. So I can put that onto the frame and in fact that's a four curve. If I go to the three there's now a gap. If I go to a two that's too flat. So three is a perfect fit. So that's a minus 075 on a full aperture lens you can see that it's um, fogged over on the lens at the top and the bottom and you've got your little lines which shows the direction of the sill Next, I'm going to show you I'll just close these up. Next, I've got a, a domiciliary field screening. I've shown you this before. So currently that's got 0%. If you're looking in here, you'll see a grey dot. So no, that's 0% in clarity. That's now at 10%. You can see it's very, very, very faint. Then we go on to 25% which is a lot brighter again. And then back to 0% and 10%. Currently, I'm showing you the right eye. And we can see as we go around, there's all numbers around it. And this is how we can determine how to determine how good your field of vision is. And now we'll just show you one more item or one range of items. All of this today is vintage. So that's including the trial lenses, the domiciliary test, and also the glasses that I've got in here. So in here, there's several different types. 
and I'm going to start off with a range of tortoise shell. I've actually got four different models in the tortoise shell and what you will find is that they're all very different. This particular one has got a keyhole bridge and it's like a pantoscopic shape. It's quite a small eye size and again made completely out of tortoise shell or really I should be saying turtle shell. The next one is a complete round eye and again but this time with the straight bridge again turtle shell sides now the next one is an early bifocal and what you've got is you've got no lens you'll have no lens in the top but you'll have a half lens in the bottom so that you look over the top if you've got no distance prescription and you'll have your reading prescription in the bottom and again everything about it turtle shell and the last but not least in this range now this one is a lighter colour usually the darker the colour the better the quality this one has got a straight bridge and again the sides are the same as on the others the next one I've got is an acetone frame now you'll see a lot of programs on the TV made in the 70s and they were wearing this style of frame. This has got no frame at the bottom so it's made up by putting a nylon cord around it. This particular frame has got um, bifocal lenses so that's the distance and then you've got a round segment bifocal. Now we come on to the higher range. Now this one is a silver frame and you can see how fine that is. This one is about the 1930s, very small end shape. In fact, Captain Manry was wearing a very similar frame in um, Dad's Army. And you can see here, this was um, Brooks and Wardman Limited Nottingham Workshop and Mansfield it's a metal case and very very slim line easy to carry now this next one is a little bit different this one is a rimless so the lenses are only held on by a screw hole in each side but this one has you've got a little clip there and that moves the pads so there's no sides on it undo the clip now that's clipped onto my nose great for reading glasses but i can also make sure i don't lose it so when i'm not wearing it i can hook that onto something and i've got the chain and the glasses hanging ready for use And again, this is a tiny case, it's a metal case, and this is um, Sea Caffeine and Sea Better is written on that case. And it's GD Caffeine Opticians that did this one, that supplied this one. Now here we have some opera glasses. See, that's it when it's open. You've got the holding loop which can also put a hanging chain on. When you're finished with it, it just folds together and is easy to put away. Next we have, very similar to the first one I showed you, to wrap around side. It's similar shape but this time it's a gold frame. And then just a little bit younger is this frame. Now, if this one is glazed with glass lenses, 
and you can see how wide that's that's gone and they didn't used to make the glasses wide enough um, for everybody's head so they were adjusted to suit so this case you can see how the sides come outwards